guys, it's so craft and today we're going fishing. Let's do this. But first it is time to make the rod ready. So let me first tell you guys a bit about how this method works. Feeder fishing is based on seeing the bites of the fish on the tip of your rod as you can see. The tip of this rod is very thin and very flexible. In that way it is very easy to see any pulling on the line. I will quickly show you guys how to make the rod ready to fish. So I pre-made these pieces of line, to which I'm going to attach that metal case over there. The pre-made line is based on three swivels, with one swivel being able to slide across the line, as you can see. To that moving swivel we're going to attach the metal case. We're going to mount the swivel that is on my right hand to the headline of the rod. Now it is time to determine at what spot we're exactly going to fish the whole day. We don't have any hooks mounted on the line yet. For determining a spot, you don't really need a hook on the line, do you? We only put the metal case on there to have some weight to throw with. So you're going to determine a spot on which you're going to fish whole day. How are you going to do this? First of all, you aim at a point at the other side of the pond slash lake. For instance, a tree. Then you throw. When the metal case hits the water, you're going to put the line behind the line clip on the reel on the rod. As shown in the clip right now. Now you know, every time you aim at that particular spot you chose, your case will always land at the exact same spot. So in this way you know that you're fishing on the same spot the whole time. Why is this important? Well, every time we're going to throw, we're going to put a little bit of ground bait in that metal case. So if we bring that ground bait to the exact same spot every time, we know that there will eventually be a lot of ground bait on that exact spot, which will of course attract the fish. But before we can start fishing, we first have to prepare the ground bait. I usually do this at home before I go fishing. Ground bait pretty much consists out of all different kinds of meals and flowers. To prepare the ground bait, all you have to do is make it wet. But it is really important to make it not too wet and not too dry. But how do I then know when it is exactly right? It is exactly right if you put a little bit into your hand, squeeze it once, and if the ground bait remains together like a bowl, it is wet enough. Then I am going to add some corn and some pellets to make it extra attractive. Ready to fish. Now it is time to mount the hook onto the line. I bought some special prepared lines in the fishing shop. These are special because they've got a little bit of line above the hook, which is called a hair. On the hair we're going to mount the bait for the fish. Within modern feeder fishing, we use boilies and pellets as bait for the fish. I am now going to mount a boilie that tastes like pineapple. Boilies are little balls of cooked bread with a taste, in this case, pineapple. I'm first going to drill a hole through the boilie, then I'll be able to mount it onto the hair. As you can see, the boilie hangs underneath the hook, and it cannot get pulled off. Then we're going to fill up the case with ground bait. When this is all done, we are ready to throw it in. Just aim at the spot you chose in the beginning of the day of fishing. And when you throw, the line will stop rolling off on the distance desired. Because the line is stuck behind the line clip. When the case hits the water, I'm going to wait until the case sinks to the bottom. I'm going to put my rod down at an angle to get the best bait registration possible and I'm going to tighten the line. When the tip of the rod stays like a curve, we know that it's ready to register my baits. Now I'm quickly going to explain you guys how the bait registration works. So we've got the line positioned as it will lay down on the bottom and my hand is going to represent a fish. It grabs the bait and puts the hook in his mouth. The fish then will swim away. The fish won't feel the weight of the case because it slides over the line. And as the fish pulls on the line, as you can see the tip of the rod moves. So that's when I know that there is a fish on the line. The fish feels the tension, swims away further, and then feels the weight of the case. Because of the weight of the case, the fish will hook itself. Then the fish is stuck on the line and we will see the tip of the rod go absolutely crazy. This is how you know you have a fish on the line. So guys, this was pretty much the basics of the feeder fishing method, squeezed into a few minutes. 
Keep in mind that there is so much more to take into account, but I just didn't want the video to get too long. Anyway, let's get some fish. Have you ever wondered what a bait looks like? Let's go get him guys. Got off. Ah. <laughs> Shit. We will get him next time. Those breams are the most slimiest fish ever. But, I'm not gonna complain. We got one. Yes. Big tip, always bring food for which you don't need to be in direct contact with it because your hands might get a bit smelly. Yeah. Look at the map, look at the map! Look at the map! 